So I'm Mindy Sue. I'm currently a student at Harvard Graduate School of Design. I'm also a summer fellow at the Internet Archive and an incoming fellow at the Berkman Klein Center. If you just think of a library, which is the most comprehensive online archive you might think of, like archive.org, then a microsite might be a book within that library. If you have it embedded within a larger collection, it's really hard to surface curated content. It's really hard to show comprehensive material about that publication, and it's really hard to showcase the unique qualities of that publication because you have to use this templated version where you have to use the same book reader, you have to use the same meta tag. So then thinking about UX within these online spaces, you can try to relate it to physical experiences. So typically when you are moving through an online library or online archive, you lose the sense of serendipitous discovery that you might have in a physical library because everything is so flat. There is no depth on the screen. What I mean by that is if you go to the library, you have have bookshelves nested next to each other, you have shelves stacked on top of each other, you have books buried in bins. There are all these different levels of hierarchy, so you naturally stumble upon things really easily, and it's really difficult to do that in a continuous scroll. So if you then try to embed this in serendipitous discovery into an interface, how do you then make a mirror like the physical act of searching? You can do that and navigate through those things by focusing on the interface and by talking to people whose voices typically aren't considered legitimate within certain institutional structures. My larger research goals relate primarily to accessibility of archives. So how can we gear local communities and people who maybe don't know the technicalities of archival practice to be able to document their own histories and explain the various conditions with which they interpret that history and how they might change it. So we're trying to push away from inherited knowledge and more towards talking about these conditions of our own experiences. That then is really difficult because we have to kind of question these westernized ideas of what is considered legitimate in the eyes of historical subjects and how we can kind of expand outside of that. If you're able to create a network of archives and you invite local communities or people who don't have training to archive their histories, how can you then connect that to these larger historical frameworks and show the pairings between present day and past? The people who make the archive hold a lot of responsibility. That's quite clear. But I think it's more important to embed this criticality in how people engage with these archives or online platforms. We cannot assume that one person's voice is correct. We have to analyze that with our own conditions and see ourselves as these constructed subjects in this larger timeline.